so I decided to start at the top. Oh, the ladies wow. from Lumacore came by. Hi, welcome! Hi, Hi. Carrie! <laughs> we'll be right down. <laughs> Lumacore created the gorgeous ceiling panels for our lobby and the wall protection throughout our halls, but they didn't stop there. They even created these adorable cafe tables for us to use in our newly painted prep kitchen. I really love how it kind of guides you to the studio in the back. Like you enter in the space and you see this beautiful, awesome ceiling feature. And then it really directs you right to where you want to go. And no two designs are the same since every piece is hand laid. So I have to ask you guys, because I look at this and I wonder, is this like a machine that prints these out, that puts everything in there? How does this work? So actually each LumaCore sheet is handcrafted literally by hand. So each leaf is laid down by an actual person. We've had this decor for a long time. A long time. It's in our naturals line and I, people like it because it's, it has a little bit of a more of a modern feel, but it also has a really good fibrous natural look. So we use quite a few fabrics um, to encapsulate inside of our material and it just creates a really beautiful, flawless, mm -hmm. light transference uh, diffusion that, that works really well in a lot of spaces. And once we encapsulate it, then it's super durable. Absolutely. So it can be cleaned and scrubbed and yeah. it's pretty impervious to just about anything. Mm -hmm. I know at, at home I've got scuffs all over my walls <laughs> and I wish, I wish that I had it there because it can take a beating. When they first started asking about this space and we started planning it, I knew they were looking for something that was white, but new, not too stark and not too cold. Something diffused, modern, and a nod to being organic to tie in with the other organic elements in this space. Lumacore's roots are actually in aviation, so it only makes sense that choosing the textiles to go inside the products involves plenty of thought and a whole lot of testing. How do you find the different fabrics and the different textiles that, like, say the ones we've covered so far? So that involves a lot of travel and a lot of trend hunting. Okay. So, for example, I went to Germany just a couple of years ago and went to the largest textile fair in the world, which was my dream. <laughs> I brought back 300 different textiles, and we go through such a rigorous um, testing process. And out of those 300, we launched seven to give you a scale. <laughs> yeah. a scale. Okay, mm -hmm. wow. Constantly on the lookout for how to evolve as a company, their manufacturing process has become more and more sustainable. Our standard line, we have over 250 decors. These uh, metal yeah. punches, slices of bamboo rings. Yep. These beautiful fossil leaves right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, those are a really popular one for us. And we also have quite a few recycled glasses like you see over here. This one's actually crushed, crushed up wine and beer bottles. So you may have contributed to this at some yes. point. Yes. I may have. I think we all have. have, actually. <laughs> yes. Um, that's incredible. I love it. It creates so much opportunity for you guys for styling Absolutely. and just, you know, all different types of, of people that you would work with. I think it's a total home run. It checks all of those boxes. Most of our products are semi-translucent. Our wall protection product, that's where we have to put the opaque backers on so okay. that it hides any substrate yes. and is a cladding for a solid surface. Mm -hmm. So okay. there's a, and like this cafe table that we're, we're sitting on, oh, yeah. it also has the opaque backer on it because we, okay. we need to hide the, the base and the cleat. So what you can see here is like the whole reason why we're putting up the wall protection kits. You know, oh, yeah. people wash their hands and they splash water on the wall. <laughs> the trash can lids hitting the wall. And being that all the paint in the building is a flat paint, it marks right. up super easy. And you just did this, so exactly. Yeah, I've been having to touch up paint every week, so I can't wait to get it up on there and okay. not have to paint anymore. <laughs> exactly. All right, so let's take a look at the rest of the panels. See you later. Bye. <laughs>